Hey, Cam, you have obviously had a uh, a, a, a big uh, turn this year to start the year on the practice squad to end last night as a leading receiver in a playoff game. What was this? Uh, what was this ride like for you? Uh, it was a it was a nice journey for me. Uh, it just shows you just to keep fighting through it through it all. Cam, you when when uh, Taylor Heineke first came in, you mentioned you got to talk to the QB and, and be friends. Like, what allowed you to ha develop such a rapport with him so quickly? Uh, I mean, uh, what, what allowed? I mean, we just kicked it off right right um as soon as he got here, and I mean, it just went from there. You. You uh, establish yourself now this year, you know, put together some really good numbers. What's the next step for you? How do you make sure 2020 is the beginning of something more special in the future? Uh, Just go even harder, uh, harder than I went last year. Uh, when I started off in the off season last year, I know I got to go two times harder to get where I want to be. Cam, where do, Cam, where do you feel you made the most progress as a receiver just on the field? Uh, just taking advantage of all my opportunities. Uh, of course, I missed some, but for the most part, I, I took full advantage of it. So that's what I say I improved at, taking advantage of all my opportunities. Cam, you obviously went through a lot of stuff. Your rookie year, uh, everybody knows exactly what happened to you and, and years past, but when you look at this year and you look at all of your accomplishments and achievements, how, looking back at it, how does that make you feel as, as far as your growth as a player? Uh, it make you feel good. It, it just shows you um, the good that, I mean, all the good that come from hard work and it shows you to keep, I mean, it's telling me to just keep going. Cam, is there a funny story that looking back at this season that that you remember that that kind of makes you laugh and you would like to share with us? Uh, nah, not nah, not for real. Come on, man. <laughs> a funny story? Yeah, something yeah. that like when you look back at it ten years from now, the 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 funniest thing that you remember from this team. Uh, the funniest thing, probably uh, um, uh, Chase keep you uh when he was yelling Henneke. And the key, <laughs> that's probably one of them right there. I heard my game. That's, so, yeah, that's yeah, that's one of them. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you. Hey, Cam. Um, offensively, the change of quarterbacks is, is is pretty unprecedented. How many different QBs played, and how much better do you think this offense can be with stability at the QB spot? Uh, I mean, of course, you just be you. You'll be better just because you established that QB, but uh, I feel like we'll be we'll be, we'll be better off. We'll be better off. Thanks. Anyone else? Hey Cam, obviously you've been around Terry McLaurin now over the last uh, couple of years, um, and he built on what he did as a rookie. What what just stands out to you having watched this guy on and off the field? Uh, quiet, like the work. Um, come in each and every day. First, first one to get here, last one to leave. Type of guy. Uh, that's what it is. Just all the stuff he do. Well, it's pretty much all the stuff he do off the field that I that I like. And well, on the field too, of course. But it's just like off the field work that he put in that nobody sees that that I see, and that that will make me be like, yeah, he that guy.